It is one of the most beautiful but often overlooked places in the United States. Perhaps not for much longer. It's awesome. It is awesome. This is Superintendent Lizzie Watts' third tour at New River Gorge. And based on what just happened, it's hard to imagine it's not her favorite. Are you like, why hasn't it been named a national park until now? Or are you just happy that it actually did happen? A, a little of both. Just a day's drive from half the U.S. population, the new is actually very old. Estimated to be the second oldest river in the world, the terrain is long, skinny, and wild. People have been playing in this river for thousands and thousands of years and left parts of their world. First explored and settled by Native Americans, then fought over in the Civil War, the new and its surrounding gorge have become a recreation destination. But rewind 100 years and things looked a lot different. The, the rumor is there were 13 different honky-tonks and bordellos and in the red light district. It looked like a little Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little Vegas. It was a little Vegas. People come from all around to, to come to Thurman. And now they come for entertainment, just a different kind. A different kind of entertainment, we hope, yes. Jerry Cook runs Ace Adventure Resort and is the man responsible, perhaps more than anyone else, for shepherding the gorgeous transformation from mining hub to an oasis for outdoor activities. At one point, this was Coal Central. Yeah, more coal came through here in the 1910s and 20s than the whole line combined from Richmond to Chicago. Downtown Thurman today is population? Five. It's the smallest town in West Virginia. It has, has its own mayor. It's essentially a ghost town. Yes. Ghost coal towns like Thurman once fueled the Industrial Revolution. The trains still run through, but the mining does not. In its place, some of the best rafting runs in the world. What is it about this river? It like gets in your veins. And it's a place that doesn't depend on snowpack, so you're getting a long season here. Yeah, we get a really long season. Like we'll start in March and we'll go through the end of October, um, even trips into November sometimes, because it's really just kind of rainwater dependent. Brian Baker is a guide with Ace, who's been taking people down the new for 19 seasons. I was told they wouldn't do this story unless I offered to be abused on the water. That Not abused. I facilitate experiences. That sounds better yeah. than abuse. For sure. <laughs> but we're talking about class four and five or no? Sure. That's a lot. It's legit. It's good stuff. OK, good. <laughs> so we're heading where? I'm down to the New River. With Bryant, we approached Fayette Station. If I fall out, head away from the rocks. Craig, you're going to head to the left the renowned rapid that sits just below West Virginia's most famous landmark, the New River Gorge Bridge. Stay ready. ready. All right, let's go. Go forward. Keep we'll let the water take it from here. All right, stop. Good. Nice. And forward again. And stop. Beautiful. Yeah. Nice. How's that? <laughs> good. Good stuff. Take a look back. There are in total 53 miles of undammed whitewater along the new to go along with climbing, biking, and even one day a year, base jumping, the only national park where you can legally do that. This park also holds another unique distinction. This is now the only park, national park, in the lower 48 with a dual designation that allows hunting. Why? Because it's a traditional use. The Southern Appalachians are a very unique culture and these mountains are very unique, but people have been hunting here forever. So when they were trying to figure out what we really should be when we grew up, allowing people to can keep those traditional uses and hunting's one of them was really important. Are you worried that the increased attention is gonna to bring too many visitors and too many new issues to the park? And my worry, do I have a little bit of fear? I have to admit I do, but I think the reality is we'll figure it out. Here's one, one good thing about the pandemic. People who ordinarily wouldn't be outside, especially some of the younger generation, have come outside last summer and now this spring. COVID has nothing good to say, but what it has done is it's taught a whole new generation to come play in the outdoors, you know, to feel the water, to go on a rafting trip, to take a hike, just to sit by the river. We've seen that, that's a great change. Yeah. And they'll always keep playing in the outdoors. I believe that now. Did you see me dominate the river earlier? <laughs>
You know what, Jeff? But, I, I would have been more <laughs> impressed if I had seen you climb that rock face. <laughs> I've done that, sorry, too, but I'll do it again. Lizzie Watts, thank you very much. I mean, she is she is tremendous. And is it bad if, that I still get goosebumps hearing Take Me Home Country Roads? No. I've, I've heard it 6,000 times it's in my beautiful. life. It is. The time. scenery there is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Those rapids looked amazing. I'm jealous. I've never done that. I would love to do yeah. that. Just it's great. worth it. Again, ha a, a day's drive from half the U.S. population. Wow. Amazing stuff.